Hey guys, welcome to Red Blooded Reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at my truck. It's a 98 Chevy, ton and quarter, 3500 HD. It's about that equivalent of like an F450. It's got a solid axle on the front with leaf springs. It's about a six, seven mile gallon machine. But I got about three grand in the truck, three grand in the welder, and this is my money maker. This is what I use every day to make money. <laughs> Alright, the score of the truck, 333,000 miles, still runs like a top, just changed the mass airflow sensor, still idling, a little rough, but every once in a while it runs good. This machine right here, it's a 1958 SA200, this is my baby, all copper wound, it's a transition model, it's not a short hood, it's not a red face, two fingers in between. This right here is my cheap AC power. 300 bucks, Harbor Freight, starts right up every time. That right there is a hell to have when you got an SA200. That thing right there, I can run all day on about half a fuel, half a tank, which it only holds about a gallon. Uh, got my rigid brushes set that we went over in the previous video. This is my impact the drill set that I keep on the truck if I need to drill a hole. Hell, if I even need to bust some, uh, bust some lug nuts loose. It won't do it, but it'll do pretty much everything else. Alright. This truck's got the 19 fives on it, 10 lugs in the back, 5 lugs in the front. It's got the big, where's he at, tow mirrors on it. It's got the, I got the big 300 auction cylinder. No, I don't run around the streets with the uh, everything connected. We're out here at the yard. I uh, got me a good water fire extinguisher, real handy with the bungee cord. I uh, got the tools out here. These are my favorite. Five inch Makita grinders are tougher than hell. This one's about four or five years old. Use almost every day. I got a new one I picked up at a pawn shop for 50 bucks. I love it. Most of my tools right here are real handy to get to. I got a set of small 25 foot leads on this. If I just need to run up to something real quick, weld it up, tack it up, or whatever. On the other side, I got 100 footers. Uh, besides that, front, the steer tires are pretty good. The back tires are bald, but they keep there. Got me a good, uh, good that right there, any welder can't lock it up without a chain coming along. That right there is a hundred dollar Harbor Freight Special. And it's got me out of some binds. Hell, it had me change the starter on the welder. I just picked it up, almost you know about a you know twenty degrees. And it got my fat ass in there a little easier. Around the back, got this. This is real loose mounted, so it jiggles in the wind. But uh, there's actually a purpose for it, but I can actually do this. Put it anywhere on the truck. I got five on this side, five on that side. Uh, maybe eventually we'll put some on the back. I love that little vise. It's a cheap little Harbor Freight one, but the thing swivels. You can get to pretty much anything. A vise, a chain come along. AC and DC power is a must. Right here. Always keep you some water. Don't ever want to fucking... Get dehydrated. A good overrated Yeti cooler on the back. Got me some slant eyes. Got a good heavy bumper. I uh, got one toolbox on that side, two on this side. I uh, keep most of the tools over there, chain straps. I even got a chainsaw on there for whenever I need to do something. On this side, oh, this is my laying pallet. You get it out in the mud and you got to weld something, you just lay on that. Get yourself out of the mud. Got me uh, my lead, my jumper cables, extension cords, an emergency air compressor. I keep my rods in here. It's at 530 seconds, 718. It's good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. I uh, got me an extra little cooler. I usually uh, throw something back here. It's kind of my little uh, storage container. It's a little old school cooler. looks cool. And uh, sometimes I don't want to take my Yeti. I'll just use that. Uh, got me a little, little giant extended ladder. That thing right there comes in handy. Don't need a bunch of three or four ladders. You just get that one, you're good. These lights on the headache rack work. Cooper Barbecue is about the best barbecue you can buy. Doors don't shut good, but it's shut. Other than that, all the lights work on this truck. I like the 19.5s with the truck tires. They're hard to put on, but they'll last good 200,000 miles if you, tre if you treat them right. Uh, it's got the plain Jane bumper, I mean plain Jane hood. It's got the bubble gum bumper. That's uh, how you know it's a 3500 HD because it's going to have five lugs in the front, leaf springs in the front, and it's got that bubble gut bumper. 
Um, you know, you're running the mill, chipping paint, a good Chevy. Uh, that's about it, man. This is my truck. Next, we'll go over Derek's little uh, S10 or half ton truck, whatever he's got. And his little uh, lawnmower engine welder. And uh, other than that, I